Yesterday I showed you guys how to create this glitter gold text effect using the Cricut Design Space app. Today I'm going to be creating the same effect using Photoshop for those of you who are Photoshop users. If there's one thing I've learned over the years as a graphic designer is that there are a million and one ways to do the exact same thing using different techniques and programs and this technique that I'm about to show you is only one of those ways to create gold text on Photoshop and it's in my opinion the easiest way to do so. For starters open up Photoshop and click on new file. I'm going to change the measurement units from pixels to inches and change the document size to 8.5 by 11 which is the size of your standard sheet of paper. And change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch so that we get a good print quality. Now that we have our document set up, click on create. For starters, you do need to download gold digital paper and you can find that on places like Etsy or creativemarket.com. You can also find free images to use for your projects on pexels.com and other websites. Uh, this particular set of gold glitter paper that I'm using here, I bought off Etsy for about $2 and it comes with 42 glitter gold digital papers. To get started, click and drag your glitter paper into your Photoshop document. Hit enter. Then we're going to go here to the text tool on the left hand side. I'm using one of my favorite fonts. It's called Birds of Paradise and you can download it from dafont.com. I will leave the link to that down below. Once you're done typing out your text, go down here to the bottom right hand side to your layers panel. These are all the layers or elements that we have in the document currently. And you're going to click and drag the glitter gold layer to the very top so that it's sitting above the text layer. Then right click the layer and click create clipping mask. Here is your glitter text and with the glitter layer still selected in the layers panel, you can hit Ctrl T on your keyboard to bring up this bounding box and you can drag the corners of this box inward and outward to resize the glitter paper that you're working with and that will change the appearance of the glitter text. If you decide that you want to use a different font on your project, you can still do that. Just click here on the text tool on the left hand side and double click your text to highlight it. And you can easily change your font. I'm going to go back to the original font I was using. To use this glitter text as an element in your future projects, all you have to do is go over here to the layers panel. Start by hiding the very bottom layer, which is the white background layer. Then go back to the tools on your left hand side and select the crop tool here. We're just going to get rid of all the extra space around our text. We're going to crop this down a bit. And once you have the crop the way that you want it, go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Then go back down here to the layers panel, right click on the glitter gold paper and select rasterize layer. Then right click the glitter gold paper again and select merge visible. Now that your text and glitter paper are merged, you can save and use this design element in the future. And there are a couple ways that you can do that. You can go up to file in the left hand corner and go to save as. Um, but the way that I typically do it is right click the layer one more time and select export as. And up here under file settings, make sure your format is set to PNG so that your text can be saved with a transparent background. Click on export on the bottom right and Go ahead and name and save your file. And now I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I would go about using this text on a different project. 
I'm gonna open up this label frame that I saved on here earlier and find the PNG glitter text file that we just created and just drag it into my Photoshop document. And let me show you guys another cool little trick on here. If you want to change the glitter or the texture to something else, you can still do that even with this PNG file. And the process is pretty much the same. Just drag in the digital paper that you want to use place it on top of the word and click on create clipping mask and we can even make this a kind of two-tone dual color text with a shade of lighter gold at the top and darker glitter gold at the bottom and we just do this by moving the glitter paper around within the clipping mask. The clipping mask tool is without a doubt one of my favorite Photoshop tools there's a lot that you can do with it. I've even created this cool superhero name stencil using clipping masks and printed it on a shirt and poster. If you're interested in learning how to create your own custom t-shirts, I have plenty of videos on my channel where I go over how to do that. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know down below if you have any questions or comments and like and subscribe for future content.